Now moving on to the next is company code. So the company code is again the smallest organizational unit of financial accounting for which a complete self-contained set of accounts can be drawn up for purpose of external reporting. So whenever you go for any external reporting part this company code becomes entity. This includes recording of all relevant transactions and generating all supporting documents required for financial statements. So company code basically refers to a legal entity or you can say uh, an, an organization. So if you got if you have got number of different legal entities they all together is termed as a company in SAP and one single entity is termed as a company code. So how we can create this company and company code in the SAP system that is what we will be looking for. So now let's move on to the SAP system and we'll see how we can create these. So now moving on to the SAP system one thing which need to be discussed is whenever we go for configuration steps how you will be configuring it. There are two way outs of going for any of the configuration steps. One is with the help of menu path which gives you a path one to one how we can reach to that particular configuration step and the another part is transaction code. Transaction code is a four character code. By execution of that you can directly reach out to the screen to which you want to do the configuration. But for each different configuration part there are different code for that. So that is why remembering the transaction code is very tough. That's why we refer it that we should always use the menu path so as that will give you a better idea and you will be able to remember it for a longer period of time. So to moving on to the path there is first an important transaction which need to be executed and that particular transaction is termed as SPRO. This SPRO transaction is very important for a consultant. Without this, without access of this to you, you will not be able to do any configuration steps in the SAP system. So you need to first execute this transaction over here in this transaction field SPRO and then enter. So once you enter it takes you to the next screen and you can see now the screen has changed to customizing execute project. This particular screen is a very important screen. In this screen you will find three options over here. One is SAP reference IMG and the another is IMG information and then the project analysis. Now what is important for you is the first option that is SAP reference IMG. In this the IMG refers to the implementation guide. So this is the tab which takes you to the implementation guide where we do all the configurations related to the implementation part or related to any of the configuration part. So once you click on to this SAP reference IMG now it will take you to the next screen where you will find all the different module options. So this is the screen now which displays you the IMG that is implementation guide and this is the guide where every consultant does their configurations as this particular screen covers all your different modules as you can see for financial accounting there is FI module is there then if you go for controlling is there there are different other modules like sales and distribution material management quality management then project system production planning so all different modules you will find over here only now what we need to do is we need to structure our, we need to create our own enterprise structure. So for enterprise structure you will find even that you will there is an option of enterprise structure on this particular screen. So what we need to do is we need to expand this part. To expand you need to go to this arrow over here 
and you need to click onto that and it will expand. So once you have clicked onto this, it has been it has expanded. Now if you again click onto this, it will collapse. So you need to go to this enterprise structure and you need to expand it and then you need to go to definition. So once you again click onto this definition, it will get expanded. And within definition, you will find there are different options. So what we need to do is we need to go to financial accounting as we are doing SAP FI module. So we need to expand the financial accounting and as you expand now you'll find a number of different options. So here you can find define company. So if you want to create your own company that is your own group company then you need to go to this define company. So the path is simple. First you need to go to execute the SAP SPRO transaction code and then you need to go to SAP reference IMG and have to click on that and it will take you to this particular screen and once you reach on to this screen you need to then click on to the enterprise structure then to financial to definition and then to financial accounting and then to define the company. Now if you want to define the company you need to execute this option over here as you can see this symbol you need to click on to it and it will take you to define company. So now click as clicked onto it you can see now a new screen has been generated on the system and now you can go and you can create your own group company over here. So suppose I want to create a group company I can go to this new entries and once I click on to this new entries now there are certain options coming on your screen. So this company over here is over here you need to define a, a maximum of six character code that can be taken up. So if you want I can take it as 100000 as a code or even if you want you can have a smaller one as well. So suppose I take a code as 2000 as a group code and over here you can define the company name that is the group company name. Suppose I take the group company name as ABC group as a simple part. And then you need to move on to the next and you need to fill your street box and all those things. Suppose I take this street as 1, 2, 3, the box number over here, then the postal number you can take whatever you wish to and then you can take the city as suppose I take it as Texas and then you can select your country. There are options you can go to this select options and it will give you all the country list. So you can find the list of the companies as on the screen they had around 256 entries that means they are around 256 countries as on this and you can select your own country over here. Suppose I take it as United States so that is US you have taken it and if you want to now select the language and you don't know what language has to be taken then you can go to this option over here or the F4 key on your keyboard and once you click on to that it will give you the list of different languages available in SAP. So if you'll find there is again 41 entries found that means there are 41 different languages in SAP can be used in. So we need to go to this English language and now we can select this language as English and then you can go to currency. Now to decide the currency you need to again go for F4 option on the keyboard so that you can get the list of currencies. So there are around 240, 14 entries that means there are 214 currencies within the SAP system on which the transaction can be done. So for the currency over here we need dollar so you can find USD that is United States dollar which can be taken up. So double click on it and it will be selected. So this is other parameters which you need to fill up over here and once you have filled these now you can go to save the option over here on the screen. So once you save your company will be defined. So as I clicked on to the save option and the system asked me for a request. So whenever you do any of the configuration or customizes in the steps it the system will always ask you for a request. So what you need to do is you need to go to this new 
that is create request and you can create a request of your own like I am putting up a request like creating or I can simply say customizing SAP FICO simple and I can save it now so what will happen now is whatever customization which we will be doing will be saved in this request and on the basis of this request only these customizations move to the next client from one client to the another client and to the live system so now we can click onto this right button or enter on the screen and it will be taken up in the request so you can see now the message generated data was saved that means the company has been defined and now we can go back with this back option over here on this green back or the F3 key can be used to go back so once you go back you can find the option over here that your company or your group company 2000 has been defined and the name of the company has also been reflected to you over here so this is how we have created or we have defined a company now moving to the next is the company code now we have created a group company now company over in SAP refers to a group company now moving on to the next we will be defining a company code a company code is the legal entity or the smallest organizational unit in the financial accounting and on the basis of this company code only all the different financial accounting transactions are done so for financial accounting part company code is the most important because without a legal entity you cannot maintain any financials or any any financial statement or accounting in SP or any other software for that matter so we'll now create a company code or a legal entity in SAP system so let's move on to again to the SAP screen and in the same part you will find in the same path over here there is an option of edit copy delete check company code so this is for creating the company code so what we need to do is we need to execute this company code over here so once you execute the company code you will find a pop-up screen which gives you two options one is copy delete check company code and the another is edit company code data so now what we need to do is we need to go to the second option that is edit company code data so once I double click on to the edit company code data it takes you to the next screen and you can see now change view company code overview now in this to create your own company code or your own legal entity in SAP you need to go to the new entries so once you click on to the new entry it will take you to the next screen that is as you can see on your system so now over here you can define your company code or your legal entity so suppose my legal entity is again it can be a four character maximum of four character code so it can be alpha it could be numeric as well so it is preferred to have a numeric code so I will be having 2100 and I can name it over here the company name as So suppose I take the name of the company or the legal entity as ABC Consulting LLC and I take the city now over here as Texas and then you can take the country as US and your currency as USD and your language as EN that is English. Now these are the options which you have taken and now we can go and we can save this option so as you will go for save the system will ask you further more details related to your entity so as I saved now now you will find that a new screen or the new pop-up has been generated now in this you need to fill uh, you need to fill the further details related to the entity 
as a legal entity has their respective addresses, telephone numbers, a particular name and all those details which need to be filled over here. So you can select the title. Their titles could be any of these like I select as company. So I need to put the name again ABC Consulting. 